Hello everyone, this is Momin here from Mount Dynamics. I am back with another interesting video tutorial on how to display multiple images on 0.96 OLED display screen. Let's get started with it. In this project, we need an Arduino Nano board, 0.96 inch OLED display module, half breadboard and few breadboard wires. Now we shall attach the Arduino Nano board to the breadboard and also OLED display module to the breadboard. Now we shall connect ground of OLED display to the ground of Arduino Nano board, VCC of OLED display to the 3.3 volts of Arduino Nano. Serial clock pin will be connected to analog pin number 5 and serial data pin will be connected to analog pin number 4 of Arduino Nano board. You can see the connections have been done now. Now we shall go through the coding part of the video tutorial. So here is the standard code in which we need to add few lines to display images and text. Before we add anything, let's go through this. These are the libraries. These two are already been included in Arduino IDE software. Now we have to add these two libraries. For that, just go to sketch, then go to include libraries and click manage libraries. There you type Adafruit GFX and click install. The same way go to manage libraries and type Adafruit SSD 1306 and click install. Now these two libraries have been included. Here we are defining the constants which are the pixel height and width of the OLED display. Here is the I2C address of the display. To know that just copy the sketch given in the description, paste it in the new file of Arduino IDE and upload it. After uploading just click on serial monitor to find out the serial address of the OLED display. Here we are giving the name for the OLED display as display by creating an object. In setup, we are initiating the device by generating the display voltage of 3.3 volts internally to OLED screen. To add images, we need to get the hex code of that image and add it before void setup. And also we need to add few lines in loop section. To do that, click the link given in the description. Once you do that, the page opens up. Right now we shall try to display one image. After that, we can add multiple images. Now you need to select the image by clicking choose file. In image settings set the canvas size to pixel size that is 128 by 64. Then set the scaling to scale to fit. Now you can see the image in the preview. Now you can choose your preferred background color and brightness. You can align the image by selecting horizontal and vertical. Then choose your code output as Arduino code, identifier as my bitmap. Here you can give any name you want and draw mode as horizontal one bit per pixel. Then click on generate code. Copy the code and paste it in the sketch before void setup. Then we shall add few lines in the loop section. First we shall clear the display. We don't want anything left out so that it overlaps. Here we are mentioning what to display. These are the coordinates. This is the name of the hex code of the image which we just copied to the sketch. And this is the canvas size and the color to be displayed. Here we are telling the display to display this image. Now we shall connect Arduino Nano board to the laptop and click upload button. The sketch has been uploaded. Now you can see the image displayed on OLED screen. Now we shall display multiple images. For that we will be selecting three images by clicking choose file button. After selecting in image settings set the canvas size to 128 by 64 and click all same size. Then you set the background color and brightness. In scaling I prefer scale to fit or stretch to fit canvas. Now you can see the previews clearly and then in output select the output format as Arduino code and draw mode as horizontal one bit per pixel. And now click generate code and copy the code. This is the standard code to which I had pasted the hex code of MD image earlier. I have deleted it and kept the lines in the loop section as I will be needing it. So now I will paste the hex code before void setup. In loop section, these were the lines used for displaying one image. 
To display three images, we need to add a delay of two seconds and copy the whole thing and paste it twice here. After that, now we have to add the names of the hex code. To know the names, you have to check the starting of each hex code and change it here. We will upload the sketch now. The sketch has been uploaded. You can now see the images are being displayed one after another. That's it for this video and if you have liked this tutorial please do subscribe. Thank you.